Hi, I have in front of me here uh, an AHD uh, bullet camera. Basically, it's an analog high definition camera um, and it has a 50 meter IR and a very focal lens from 2.8 out to uh, 12 millimeters. Um, so, AHD um, gives the equivalent of this particular camera gives the equivalent of about 1.36 megapixels. So, it's the equivalent in terms of a lot of IP cameras at picture quality, but has a huge advantage that it'll work with the existing cable, power units, etc. Um, it's also uh, capable of working with an AH uh, DVR, which we're going to demonstrate a bit here today, but also it's backward compatible, so it can be set back to a PAL setting to work with older, lower resolution DVRs. So if you were looking to upgrade a camera without upgrading the DVR, for example, at this point, it would be possible to use this with an older DVR settings. Um, so the format of the video is I'm going to give an overview of exactly what comes in the box. We'll take a detailed look at the camera itself and then what we'll do is we're going to come along here and we'll just give a demonstration of the camera in uh, action. And uh, The camera is actually just pointed onto the free TV screen behind and it's working there quite effectively. So it comes in this outer box here. Uh, we have a user manual, gives an overview of the camera itself. We have um, a screwdriver here, a, um, an Allen key and just three plugs and tr tr uh, so, or, sorry, four plugs and four screws here, and that'll tempt you to use for marking this out, so you can mount this camera. And um, uh, you can just see here, there's various adjustments on it here, so it gives a full range of uh, movement in terms of how to mount it here. Basically, you can swivel here by a full um, uh, 90 degrees, okay? Um, in relation to um, the top here, we have a cover on it, uh, and that's just to keep off glare and also uh, to protect from rain. And if we just remove this here, we can see into the main event, which is the actual um, uh, the lens of the camera here. So the very focal lens is in here, and we have two large uh, LED lights here. Uh, what we have at this point here is we have a selection um, button here, which allows us to bring up menus. We also have um, uh, an adjustment here, and also what we have here is a monitor output, a spot monitor output here, where we could run it directly. Normally when people are setting up, they're using something like our simple meters, but something like that would be possible. So what I'm going to do at this point in time is um, I'm just going to come around um, uh, over to the camera itself, and what we'll do is uh, we will just do a quick uh, demonstration of it. Just walk around to avoid walking directly into it. So I'm um, blocking the view. So I just want to bring up the menus here. So just to show the menu functionality on it, if I just press it in here, we can just see we can uh, adjust things like lens exposure all the way down, uh, backlight. So if the backlight is off, we can turn it on. Uh, with just the different settings here. So just leave it in the off setting. Uh, white balance, day and night. Uh, adjust and all the rest of it. So we can adjust the various things directly into the camera and once we're finished we can just exit here and uh, I didn't bother saving there but you could uh, save that setting when you're leaving. Um, now I'm going to demonstrate in a few moments time we can actually flick this from an ordinary camera over to because um, uh, it's set, currently set up on the full AHD uh, we can flick it back over onto PAL. Now what I might do before that is I might just knock off the camera or the lights here so we can actually come along and just see the night vision on it. Now it's not an ideal setup because it's very close. We might just uh, zoom directly into the screen there uh, to affect uh, minimize the amount of uh, layer interference on our camera. So I'm going to hit the light switch now. A few moments now. So you can see that it adjusts very clearly and very, very easy redesign. Um, even a smaller weapon underneath, very, very visible. So just going to knock it back on there. So just be able to adjust back out there, and that's it. Uh, if we wanted to come along here, we can flick it between um, um, the which uh, the, the the full AHD output or the other. So I'm just going to push it over here um, to the left. And when it comes back up here, video loss. It's got to come back up a panel in the centre there. And if I push it back to the right for 30, for three seconds, it'll flick over. If you ever come along and it won't flick back over, one um, tip I'd say is if you power off the DVR on the camera and then power both of them back up, it'll take the setting, it'll spot that it's an AHD DVR, and it'll bring it back up on the AHD again. Um, so that's basically it. Now, it's part of a wider range of... Um, AHD cameras and DVRs that we're stocking. The reason that we've gone down this route is, we'll say, we think there's uh, going to be a huge market for uh, AHD 
range of products simply because it's using all the same skill sets, it's using the same cabling and power units and also it allows you to upgrade systems in a modular format. So if you imagine, let's say you had a, um, just updating a single camera, you could do it directly or if you're making a decision that you had a mix of cameras to put in in a location, you could have a, an AHD DVR and then have an AHD camera covering a key area like a driveway and then lower resolution cameras covering other points. So that's it. Uh, an overview of the uh, 720p white bullet camera um, available on the freetv.ie uh, website.